name's Garrett Schwartz. I'm a junior from Los Angeles, California, uh, majoring in child psychology with a minor in neuroscience. My name is Marianne Cherry. I'm from Minneapolis, and I'm a senior at the U of M studying psychology and family social science with a minor in Spanish. My name is Lennox Rodney Lee. I'm from Eagle Butte, South Dakota, which is on the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation. I'm working on two majors right now. The first one, my honors major, is studies in cinema and media culture. And my second major is American Indian studies. What really inspired me to pursue this particular avenue of representation was very personal. I grew up Lakota. I was raised by my Lakota mother, and I have brothers and sisters and lots of female relatives. And thinking of the current political climate, the current social climate, and the number of missing and murdered Indigenous women and how that is slowly making its own voice in the mainstream consciousness. I thought about what role does media, like these fictional portrayals, what role does that media have in this broader narrative? If we're going back to the Westerns, which there's more Westerns, I can tell you, than contemporary portrayals, it was always the Indian maiden who was often related to the land, sort of something that could be conquered by white people. And I started to question, why is that, basically? Why does this happen so often? I decided I'm going to focus more on contemporary, you know, how natives exist in the contemporary sense, because that is how I exist, that is how my family, my friends, we, that's how we exist. I want to look at what is impacting mental health outcomes in these different neighborhoods because they greatly differ in racial composition and that is changing the dynamics, I guess, and the different social conditions. So we want to figure out like what is specifically impacting mental health outcomes. I want to figure out a way to reduce like people's fear of each other. And I think that would help you know, increase cohesion. Like, how can we break down these barriers between races and between people and religions and everything? And then we can create that cohesion. And I think a lot of the fear creates this perception of like, I'm not safe or, um, I mean, it's much greater than that. But I want to, I don't know, like, how can we do this? That's what I have to think about. I don't want my project to be meaningless. I don't want it to just be like, a random question I have, I want it to actually mean something to the people around me and make a difference. My whole experience in research as an undergraduate actually started with the CLA Dean's Freshman Research and Creative Scholars Program. So I actually look at that program as the first step in my own experience in research. I currently work on a study called MYSTIC, which is the Minnesota Imaging Stress Test in Children. The MYSTIC study involves looking at social stress in pre-adolescents, adolescents, so 11 to 14 years old. We have them lie down in an fMRI machine where they have to complete a math task and a speech task. As they're doing this, we have a live judge that watches them over footage um, that gets projected into the MRI machine. The main goal of the study is to see how social stress affects the developing adolescent brain because adolescence is known to be a point of rapid brain development in human development in general. It's important to understand how that social stress will affect the trajectories of their brain development. One follows the traditional white male that is somehow involved in this native story. And the other one focuses more on a native female. And just to kind of show how that lens, that gendered lens, could greatly affect the outcome of these characters' fates. I came to this conclusion that natives deserve to be the heroes of their own stories, 
And I really wanted to help portray that and to help make that more of a reality in what we see. I wanted to do research that he was conducting in his lab, or it really interested me. I wanted to be exposed to that. I didn't think I would love it. Like, I had no idea, I just wanted to try, and I ended up really enjoying it and I found my passion. I want, you know, the research I find and the, and the relationships I discover basically through my research to really be translational into actual change throughout the communities around me. Because I and think at the end of the day, research is really that bridge from obtaining knowledge and implementing actual physical change in the world.